Is it time to buy or sell Intel stock? In this video, we're diving deep into Intel. Our initial report was published on our website on Wednesday, the 11th of September, 2024. And now we're here to provide you with an even more detailed analysis. Remember to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell to stay updated on our latest analysis. You don't want to miss any crucial updates that could impact your investments. Enhance your trading decisions by trying our newly launched AI stock analysis tool powered by GPT-4 at stockinvest.us. Tap into the power of AI and get a free price prediction and deep analysis for anyone among 25,000 companies worldwide today. Please note that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be considered as financial advice. Since the 6th of September, 2024, our system has classified Intel as a sell candidate, assigning it a score of negative 3.04. Now let us examine the stock's performance during this time frame. Interestingly, the stock has outperformed our system's predictions, achieving a gain of 3.97%. This equates to an average return of approximately 0.99% per day since it was designated as a sell candidate. The stock is currently positioned within a broad and declining trend in the short term, indicating further declines may occur within this trend. The present three-month trend forecasts a potential decrease of approximately 40.8% over the upcoming three months, with possible returns ranging from a decline of 45.53% to a drop of 26.11%. Regarding the 12-month trend, it indicates a decrease of around 32.88% over the next year with potential returns varying between a decline of 36.2% and an increase of 29.43%. This suggests a price range between $12.53 and $20.42 after one year. Our latest daily update for Intel features the headline, Green Day on Wednesday for Intel. The Intel stock price increased by 3.48% on the last trading day, which was Wednesday, the 11th of September, 2024, rising from $18.98 to $19.64. During that trading day, the stock experienced fluctuations of 6.32% with a low of $18.52 and a high of $19.69. The price has declined in 6 out of the last 10 days and is down by 2.14% during that period. Notably, trading volume has increased alongside the price, which signals a positive technical trend, with a total of 14 million more shares traded than the previous day. Overall, 69 million shares changed hands, amounting to approximately $1.36 billion. Over the past 52 weeks, the stock's highest price reached $51.28, while the lowest was $18.51. Currently, the price stands at 61.7%, or $31.64, below the 52-week high, and 71.66%, or $49.65, below the all-time high recorded on January 24, 2020, when the price peaked at $69.29. Analyst ratings. On Friday, the 16th of August, 2024, it was reported that KeyBank assigned Intel a sector weight rating with a hold recommendation. On the same day, it was reported that Cantor Fitzgerald rated Intel as overweight, also with a hold recommendation. On Monday, the 5th of August, 2024, Goldman Sachs rated Intel as a buy with a hold recommendation. On that same day, RBC Capital downgraded Intel to a sector perform rating. Additionally, on August 5th, BMO Capital provided Intel with a market perform rating, accompanied by a hold action. Analysts have assigned Intel stock a general sell rating. They consider the price to earnings ratio as buy and the price to book ratio as buy. Regarding return on investment, the analysts have issued a strong sell rating for the stock. The following signals have been identified for Intel. 
A buy signal was issued from a pivot bottom point on Friday, the 6th of September, 2024, and so far it has risen approximately 4%. Further increases are anticipated until a new top pivot is established. Additionally, there is a buy signal from the three-month Moving Average Convergence Divergence, or MACD. Volume is increasing alongside the price, which is considered a positive technical indicator. However, some negative signals have also been issued, which may influence short-term developments. The Intel stock currently holds a buy signal from the short-term moving average. However, the long-term average indicates a general sell signal. With the long-term average above the short-term average, this presents a more negative forecast for the stock. Should the stock continue to rise, it will encounter resistance from the long-term moving average at $22.25. Conversely, if the stock declines, it will find some support from the short-term average at $19.36. A breakout above the long-term average will provide another buy signal, while a drop below the short-term average will reinforce the sell signal and strengthen the overall outlook. Here are some intriguing signals you might find valuable. Moving average convergence divergence indicates a buy signal. Pivots show a buy signal from four days ago. Bollinger also reflects a buy signal from four days ago. The short-term moving average presents a buy signal from two days ago. However, the long-term moving average indicates a sell signal from 36 days ago. The relationship between the short and the long moving averages revealed a buy signal 32 days ago. If we examine the 12-month chart, we can observe the short moving average gave a buy signal nine days ago. The long-term moving average indicated a buy signal 115 days ago. The relationship between the short and long moving averages produced a buy signal 123 days ago. For more signals, remember to visit our page at stockinvest.us. Let's discuss the support risk and stop loss for Intel. Intel shows support from accumulated volume at $19.43. This level may present a buying opportunity as an upward reaction is anticipated when this support is tested. The stock typically experiences average daily movements and with a healthy trading volume, the associated risk is deemed medium. Over the past day, the stock fluctuated by $1.17 or 6.32%. In the past week, the stock has displayed an average daily volatility of 4.12%. Before we dive into the potential trading levels for Intel, let's quickly cover some essential for fundamental data. First, let's discuss the price to earnings ratio, commonly known as the PE ratio. This important metric compares a company's current share price to its earnings per share. A high PE ratio might indicate that the stock is overvalued, or it could suggest that investors are anticipating significant growth in the future. In other news, the forthcoming earnings report for the third quarter of 2024 is anticipated on the 24th of October, 2024. Analysts' consensus estimates stand at negative three cents. It's crucial to monitor these figures as they can significantly influence stock prices. Now let's discuss some potential day trading levels for Intel. In the event of an upward trend, the first resistance level for Intel is at $20.10. If you are not currently holding any shares, you may want to wait for this level to be breached before entering a position. For those who already own the stock, this could be a point to consider for swing trading. On the downside, Intel encounters its first support level at $19.43. If this support level holds, it could present a favorable entry point, anticipating a rebound. The combined average rating for Intel from various analyst sources indicates a recommendation to sell. Now, let's examine some recent insider trades. The five most recent insider trades were conducted by Scott Goel, who transacted a total of 9,888 shares or options in the company. Analyzing the 100 most recent insider trades, we find that the insider power is positive, with a ratio of 1.722. In total, insiders acquired 450,195 shares, 
while selling 428,883 shares in these last 100 trades. We hold a negative evaluation for this stock, and there is currently no stop loss in place. Is Intel stock a good buy? Currently, Intel presents several negative indicators, leading us to believe it will continue to perform weekly in the coming days or weeks. Therefore, we maintain a negative outlook on this stock. After examining the volatility and movements from the previous trading day, our analysis indicates that the current price is overvalued. For trading on Thursday, the 12th of September, we anticipate that Intel will open lower by 357 ten thousandths and begin trading at $19.28. We would like to remind you that trading carries a significant risk of financial loss. It's advisable to consult with a financial advisor before making any decisions regarding the buying or selling of securities. Please do not base your investment choices solely on the information provided by StockInvest.us. By utilizing this information, you accept responsibility for your own investment decisions. This is our current view of the stock. Do you agree or disagree? Please share your thoughts in the comments below. What is your target for this stock? Remember to like and subscribe. We wish you successful trading and hope you have a wonderful day from all of us here at Stock Invest.